Litecoin and Bitcoin's next move. What's up, guys? Crypto Savvy here with the weekend update. We're going to take a look at the charts. First, we're going to take a look at Litecoin. Then we're going to take a look at Bitcoin. And at the end, we're going to take a look at a bigger picture for Bitcoin. So stick around. Ought to be a good one. Hey guys, um, before I begin, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anyone that's doing any trading or any investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence as this market can be extremely volatile and risky. With that being said, um, if you're new here or you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand side of the screen. That'll get you subscribed, and then if you tick the little bell, that'll notify you when I post new videos and keep you updated. Uh, also, if you could, give it a big thumbs up and leave your comments. Let me know what you think. I, uh, I like to read through the comments, and it also helps out with getting my videos shared with YouTube. And let's get into the charts. So, uh, looking at Litecoin, um, I had this descending wedge over here that we've broke out of sideways, drawn. <clears throat> and looks as if this I had it drawn as kind of a, a rising wedge and it's looking like a channel but I'm not going to move this top line I think that might still be significant so um, I want to clarify that I, I do think that we have seen the lows in both Bitcoin and Litecoin and that's not to say that we can't go down and do a double bottom um, but I do think we have seen the lows and I've been saying that for quite some time and I could be wrong obviously you know it could go down to the 2500 1800 so on and so forth that are people are calling for Bitcoin but I personally don't see it so all right we're going to get into the charts here I'm going to zoom into the well before I do that yeah I'm going to zoom into the four hour guys and we're going to take a look at four hour in Litecoin <clears throat> and as you can see I had this this bull flag drawn here which is a descending wedge and we have broken out of it um, I know yesterday we broke up it was kind of looked like a bull trap we came back down everybody got all paranoid and said it was going down and as usual you know people just let their emotions fly if you're playing with that much emotions and you're in your in this market it's probably going to get you wrecked guys so you got to learn it, it took me a, a while to learn to get rid of the emotion and um you'll see a lot of the emotion in the bearish people when like i get a lot of i get a lot of you know people saying stuff about me because i'm so bullish and with that being said i'm not i'm bullish um mid to short term right now definitely but i I do think that we are going to go back down to test the lows, but I do not see I I do not see anything <clears throat> saying that we'll we'll break the the other low. And also, I don't even think we're going to go that low when we do go back down to test and correct. So, let's look at here. I'm going to do the measured move as always and show you why this I have this target up here from the breakout which would be about right there let me see something let me go back down sorry guys we do this go to the breakout come back up here to where we broke out and <clears throat> as you see that brings us up to my this is my main target because there is a support resistance line through here at the 56 dollar range and i still see that as my target um now you know if we do make it up here with this breakout which i believe we're gonna um we'll probably come back down test this for support somewhere up in here so keep an eye on out keep an eye out for that and also you know if we were to break back down you know our net, our support down here is going to be around the 40 41 22 range somewhere in there and then the next port below that is the 39 dollar area and worst case right now i you know if we were to come back down and retest this bottom of this channel um i still have that marked here at the 3478 but as always guys i'm i'm still bullish i do see more upward movement from here now 
The other thing I wanted to point out, the top of this channel, and, and I didn't move it up to the top here of this peak because I still think this is significant. And I do think that we're going to get some resistance when we do come up and test the top of that. And, and it's possible, you know, to double top here, but we would be looking at the, around the 46, 4685 to $47 range. We really got to watch that area because that's going to tell us, you know, if we get a rejection and then come back down to here, which I do not see happening, but it is possible, guys. We always got to look at it both ways. So let's go into the one hour and take a quick peek at the breakout here. Um, I do believe, like I said, we're going to continue upwards. I mean, there's nothing telling me that we're not. Obviously, we're going to we're at a resistance line right now at the around the $44 range. Um, and once we break that, like I said, we could be looking at the, I guess, 40, between the 46 and $47 range when we hit the top of that, that trend here, this trend line. And that's, we're going to get some resistance there. Um, and if we do break above it, we'll, we'll probably come back down, test it for support and either break back through or bounce up from there. So, um, that's where we're at with that. Now I'm going to jump into Bitcoin real quick, guys. And we're going to talk a little bit about this symmetrical triangle that I've had drawn, the, the solid line on top, the dotted line on the bottom. I still believe this to be very val valid. And I know a lot of people are saying that this is a bear pennant, which is possible. I'm not saying it's not, you know, which I have targets down here um, around, let's see. The bottom target obviously is around a $31.25 range, which would be a double bottom. And again, I do not, I do not believe we're gonna um, go down that low. If we do, if we do break through the bottom of this, I think we might get a bull trap, maybe to the $3,300 range, somewhere in that area. But I, d I don't believe we'll be going lower than that, guys. And I know a lot of you people are really bearish because of the guy, the bearish guys out there that. But if you think about it, <clears throat> when we were at the top around the $20,000 range, even until we got back down in the 16000 everybody that was still bullish, it was that euphoria, that psychological. And that's what the market's based on, guys, is human psychology. And a lot of people say, you know, every time they're wrong, it's because of ma manipulation or, you know, bots and, and whatnot. But charts are charts, guys. They're going to do what they're going to do. And if, if you learn how to chart, and try not to confuse yourself with a, a million different indicators. It's a lot easier and a lot less stress. So anyways, moving on here. So <clears throat> this still to me, I believe is still, a, it, it's a bull flag here. I, I truly believe that and I am sticking to it no matter what anybody says until it's proven wrong and proving that wrong would be breaking down. So. And I'll be the first to admit if I was wrong. We're going to look at the measured move here. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, sorry about that. I got to make it from the breakout. And where we broke out, actually broke out, was up in this area here at this support resistance at the 3480. So put that up to the top. And that is where I come up with this range here. The the 3850 is my conservative target. <clears throat> we could get up into the $3,900 range if this does break up, which I do believe it will. And obviously this 55 EMA here is gonna give us some resistance right around the $3,700 range. Now, um, that's the area we need to watch in Bitcoin because if we do get resistance here, you know, it's a possibility we could come back down and retest this. 3840 range and let's go into the four hour chart. All right, there's the, here's the next resistance um, that we'd be looking at if we continue up here at, at the 30, 3644, 3650 range. Um, I'd, I'd, I know we're probably gonna get some resistance there and maybe chop around up here for a while but i do believe we will continue up on through to like i said my target area 3850 ish now 
if we were to get stopped here <clears throat> in the $3,700 range would be the top of this symmetrical triangle, you know, then we may get rejected and come back down to test the bottom of this where I have this target area in between <clears throat> the $3,400 range and the uh, $3,475. Uh, $3,400 is the bottom of the symmetrical triangle, which is possible that we come down here. And if we do break through, you know, that's where I have this target range from the $3,250 to $3,300. And if it does break through there, guys, I just believe it's going to be a going to be a, a quick bounce and back up in, in my opinion. If not, then obviously... <clears throat> You know the people the bears are right with the the lower lows um if we break through this 3125 you know we could be going down much further but as of now guys i stick to my my bullish short term to at least the 3700 range and my my target's 3850 here and again this is not financial advice um this is just my opinion and my view of the market guys i'm going to go into the rsi now on bitcoin and we're going to look at the trend lines I had drawn here. Um, if you remember, I had this symmetrical triangle drawn here. <coughs> Excuse me. Symmetrical triangle drawn here. And we've popped up out of it. And I, I had told you guys, if you've been watching my videos, that we would probably get a bounce off of the bottom of this triangle once we came back in. And that's exactly what happened. Now, what we could do here, we could come back down and test it you know, the top of the triangle one more time before continuing up. But in my opinion, I, th I think we're just going to continue up from here because I, th I believe we're going to break that bull flag. Now, let's look into the daily on here. And that's still looking good to me too. The, the RSI is turning back up. We made a, we keep making higher lows, which is a good sign. I, I believe, you know, that stands to, compliment my bullish scenario here all right now i want to go into a bigger chart which is the bitstamp chart and look at these lines i have drawn here i drew this from the tip of the all-time high across to where the six thousand was and down that's the dotted line remember where that one's at and then the solid line is from this the 17,200 17, area where this peak was across the 6,000. And if, if you look at these bottom trend lines I have drawn here, we're on the yellow one now, and I believe that one's gonna hold, and we'll take a look at if it doesn't here in a second. <clears throat> um, this is my longer term target here around the $4,700 range, which is where we'll run into the 200 whoops sorry this which is what where we'll run into the 200 ema here now i'm going to zoom in take a look at this a little bit closer this is the same obviously the same as we just talked about with bitcoin but with without the trend lines drawn and looking more at the emas now like i said if we get rejection here we're looking at 3700 dollar range which would be the 55 EMA and then maybe come back down and test this $3,400 area and you know go from there but like I said once we broke out of this I was fairly confident that we would have a breakout which we did you know we had some nice volume on this candle here and uh like I said this is still looking like a bull flag to me and I believe we're going to break through this 55 EMA but we really have to watch just keep a Keep a close eye on the $3,700 range, set your alerts, do whatever. Um, if we break through that, you know, uh, we could be looking all the way up to, you know, the $4,700 range. And again, we'll have to look at that when it comes. And it's not to say it's gonna shoot straight up, guys. It's, it's gonna take time. And we'll probably meet up with this 200 EMA. And that's why I had this target here. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit because it's There'll probably be a while if that does occur. So anyways, that's, that's what I'm looking at now. And I wanna, if you guys haven't seen my uh, Bitcoin bottom is in video, uh, check it out, I'm gonna leave it at the end of the video, click on it. 
and uh check it out let me know what you think and for now guys i guess that is about it so if you haven't already subscribed click the crypto savvy logo above my head tick the little notification bell to get you notified when i post new videos and you don't miss anything and uh give it a giant thumbs up please i appreciate it and leave comments let me know what you think have a good weekend